Redneck 007. You know, still here at Cherokee, Harris. I ain't gonna broke yet. But I got a bone to pick with a civilian. Hey. All right. Let's rewind. So, uh, you know, I busted out of the poker tournament. Uh, I don't know what place. It don't matter. I didn't make the final table, so it doesn't matter. But I wasn't a bubble boy, so that's good. And, uh, you know, I'm going downstairs, and I talked to this 19 Delta who works security. Mad props to you. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, so I go uh, over to the dollar machine, you know, just kill a little bit of time. Before going to Johnny Rockets, getting a burger and going to bed. So I sit down next to this fella and, you know, sitting there playing and playing. He just keeps staring at me. And I finally said, uh, what's up, man? He said, is that an American flag on your head? I was like, yes, sir. He's like, that's disrespectful. Call. I was like, excuse me? He said, yeah, that's disrespectful. I said, uh, how so? Explain to me, sir. You know, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. He said, well, I belong to whatever. American Oath Keepers. I don't know. Some kind of damn militia. He started digging in his wallet, pulled out a card, and I looked at it. I was like, rock on? <clears throat> he said, you know, we fight to defend that flag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I was like, that's good. Golly. Oh, man. Oh. Uh Army brother wants me to call him. I got all these messages going. Okay, sorry. So, you know, he said, uh, you know, we fight to defend that flag. And I was like, I was thinking to myself, okay, they must be former military. So, we got something in common. So, I was like, what branch were you in? He said, huh? I said, military. What was your MOS? He said, oh. I didn't go in the military. And then he started saying something about his great uncle, you know, all this. I was like, so how do you fight to defend the American flag? And why do you think it's disrespectful that I wear it? He said, uh, what the hell did he say? Oh, it just is. I was like, well, sir, I have fought to defend this American flag and the rights and liberties for you to say what you just said. I respect your opinion, but they're like assholes. And I said, I think I'm sitting next to one. <laughs> I ain't got no filter. Y'all already know that. So um, he just, you know, kind of give me the... So I pulled my card out, I cashed out. I was like, you have a good day, sir. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. He might have been 40 feet I don't know. He looked pretty weathered. <clears throat> Probably construction worker or something like that. And uh, I got walking off. I got to thinking. Did I make the right move, you know? I mean, I, I wasn't trying to cause no conflict or no disorder or chaos or nothing, but that just rubbed me the wrong way. Especially for a fucking three percenter who who didn't serve. Yeah, I know a lot of three percenters, a lot of oath keepers, a lot of militia men who served. And fucking mad props. You know. I do think there is um a place for militia. But for assholes like that, who give that motherfucker a fucking carry permit? Whew. Fucking disrespectful. I'll show you disrespectful. 
No, I won't, because uh, those days are over. It's my old ways. But um, for anybody who doesn't like... I mean, come on. I mean, it's a face shield. You know, with American flag print. <clears throat> with a skull face. With fucking teeth. I mean, it's not like I'm fucking Superman in it with an American flag running up down the hallway naked. I don't know. Maybe he had a right to say that. Maybe he didn't. I really don't care. But it rubbed me the wrong way. I had to vent. Thanks for listening to me vent. <laughs> uh, so, you know. But I uh, haven't went broke yet. Still, uh... I lost about half of my bankroll last night in some blackjack, but, oh, man, i tell you. <sighs> Same old story. Fucking house. It don't matter if you're counting. It don't matter if you're fucking shuffle tracking. It don't matter. Hell, if you're fucking got that ESPN2 high definition, fucking sidekick. I mean, even if you're fucking sidekick, it doesn't matter. You know why? Because fucking house is going to win. Yeah, you might win a couple hundred dollars. Which I did during the day. But at night, no. So, that's my little rant. My little tangent. And uh, mad props to the ranger I met at the poker table. Fucking rock on. Fucking hull. And he's a cool mother trucker, I'll tell you that. And, uh, good guy. I enjoyed playing with you. Both tournaments. And, uh, I pretty much busted out shortly after you left. But, true story. They're all true. You know that. Uh, last night, not for last, you know. <clears throat> yeah, I'm down to, like, not even, like, two big blinds. And, uh, Ranger, he was on my left. He, he goes all in. I had Jack Four unsuited. And, uh, yeah, I didn't know what he had. I put him on a strong ace. Or a good over pair or something like that. I knew he had Jack Four crushed. And I said, well, if I'm going to go out to anybody, it's going to be you. So I called. He had ace Jack. I was crushed. Cause like a Jack hit on the a turn, I think it was. And, uh, so, I basically handled my chips. Solidarity. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, oh, man. I really enjoyed playing with him. I really did. I mean, you know, y'all know me. Like, I make friends, acquaintances, Everywhere I go, I can spot a veteran, you know, without wearing, like, you know, unit insignia or, hey, I served on Eisenhower or Lexington. I've been on that ship. Corpus Christi, Texas. Ah, uh, USS, USS Lexington. So, uh, I don't know where I was going with that. Basically, just to give uh, that Ranger feller a shout out. And, uh, hell yeah. Love you, brother. That was awesome. But, you know, I have to say, I have shown, not at the poker table, but a lot of discipline when it comes to putting up with assholes. Because this right here has... It, is, it has no... 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 Mm, no filter. And sometimes, you know, we jump when we should just step back, assess the situation. At least I should. And not go all in with a marginal hand. Kind of relating it to poker like a metaphor. 
that we shouldn't just uh, react. At least I shouldn't. And I didn't. I'm proud. I walked away. <laughs> Even though I wanted to laugh in that dude's face, and that probably would have pissed him off, and it would have been some fisticuffs. Then I would have got kicked out, and then I couldn't play the World Series. You know how that goes. So, uh, yeah, I made the right decision. Even though, if anybody has the right to wear an American flag or some American heritage clothes or... Hell, if I want to wear red, white, and blue motherfucking boxers, underwear, fucking Speedo, I wear it. You know why? That's right. Y'all already know the answer. I already know. So, uh, yeah, it just pissed me off real bad. So I had to walk away. Because I did. I wanted to just tell him about what I thought about his fucking militia. You know. Be like, what are you, the fucking water boy? What are you, the brass cleaner? <laughs> Bet he don't even know what a fucking bolt assembly is or fucking head spacing on the fucking 50. Guarantee it. He's probably one of these, I carry a Ruger. Really? Why not a Sig? Why not a Beretta? I carry a Ruger like Hank Williams Jr. Actually, Hank Williams Jr. If I recall, he likes Smith & Wesson. All right, this has been Redneck 007. Just, just wanted to throw that out there, and if anybody has any comments or you know, hell, I need some haters in life. Like, don't get me wrong, I love when people's like, you know, you know, you rock on, fucking love you. you know, I love you all, but I want somebody to say you're full of fucking shit. Well, not that, but you know what I mean. I want some haters. Hell. I want somebody to say, you look like a fucking circumcised penis with ears. Penis. Yeah, you can tell I've been talking to Vietnamese. Uh, fucking dick with ears or something, you know? Or your YouTube channel sucks. Something. Because trust me, it's not great content. It is not great quality. I'll tell you that. I mean, hell, I get motion sickness sometimes watching my videos when I'm editing them. And I'm like, God almighty. I really need to invest in a camera with some, like, stabilization feature. And I will when I get to Vietnam. Uh, as soon as I'm done with school, bam, I'm out of here. But I love the good old USA. I love, uh... <laughs> I love assholes who, uh, didn't really ruin my night or nothing like that. Like, even when I walked off, I had to replay it in my head. Kind of like I play almost every hand. Replay those in my head. But, uh... I mean, overall, everybody has a right to say whatever they want to say, whether you like it or not. It's like my fourth wife used to say, ex-wife now, you can like it, lump it, suck it, or fuck it, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. So, this has been Redneck007, and uh, you can call me anything you want to. You know, call me Travi Black, call me Charles Aldemar, it doesn't matter to me. But if you're going to call me, don't call me when I'm on the 18th floor at Harris, because I got the phone turned all the way down so I can sleep. Because somebody always calls. And uh, I have no cell phone service over here. So, there you go. Love y'all. Stay safe. Safety briefing. We'll probably be on Friday. Because honestly, I probably won't make it to the three big tournaments I wanted to play in. Because I was stupid. And was betting way too much in blackjack. So... So don't call me, but if you're going to call me, call me a degenerate gambler and a loser. This has been Redneck007, Specialist James Webb, former. I'm at 13 Foster Hope.